All right, so about a month ago, um, in the chair room, uh, Jeff, friendly from uh, Perth, Australia, and uh, he posted a picture in his garage of uh, the one old license plate he had, said Chevy on it. You know, I was like, whoa, dude, you know, it's bad if you ever want to part with it, which is really tough for us outriders, we just, you know, especially plates, because, you know, we went out of cars. I was like, yeah, I know, you know. Monk passes by, and last week he sends me this cryptic message. Says, "Hey man, check your mailbox. You know, this week." And I'm like, I didn't say anything else. You know, I just. And then this morning, uh, he was like, "Hey man, check your mailbox." <laughs> and that Aussie accent, I ain't even gonna attempt it. I'm like, dude. I was like, text him back. I'm like, man. It's like, you know, don't tell me you sent me that plate, man, because you know I offered to buy it. You know, and I'm like, dude, no. I'd be like. Just make me feel like crap, and I'd be rushing around trying to find something to send to him, whatnot. And he's like, "Oh no, no, no! Uh, I think I might have sent you the wrong fishing rod or something." I'm like, "Fishing rod?" I was like, "Dude, you're saltwater. I'm like, it's five and a half hours to saltwater here, uh, freshwater down the road, man. I can go hit a trollop, man, with you know, little bugs." Anyway, he goes, "No, I sent you Vegemite. <laughs> what the fuck is Vegemite?" I'm like, "Okay, Vegemite." Peptide bond. I never had it. Um, but he was like, he was like, oh yeah, read the directions and spread it very thick. Okay. Well, unbeknownst to him, I got one of our secretaries in the in the office who's married to a, a, a Aussie, and she said she goes, yeah, put a thin layer. <laughs> she goes, lather it in butter and then put a thin layer. Uh, I'm sure that's probably the mask half of it. Um, anyway get this over with but I am going to put a little bit of butter on it because um, I think he's got something that is somewhat familiar and I got a friend that used to uh, they used to have uh, foreign exchange students and you know from uh, Norway Sweden and Denmark and they all hated peanut butter so you know there you go um, all right this is a peptide bond man this shit looks nasty Vegemite. And you send me fucking Vegemite. Yeah, that'd be great survival food. It's like loaded down. How much? How much freaking? Can't really read it. I'll have to read it later. We better have a whole load of shit though, man. And that's like good for you. Fucking just a yeast uh, something or other. Yeah, so they're all like, oh, it's an acquired taste. Okay, so I'm going to spread this out real thin. You, know, you didn't have to watch the video or nothing, but this is mainly for Jeff. Anybody else wants to get their shits and giggles, even though I've had all kinds of bugs. I'm not Andrew Zimmer, by no means. You know, but, I mean, I could eat, you know, whatever, and especially if it was in, you know, in a critical situation. Fuck, fucking bring them bugs on, man. I'll eat them. I don't care. You know, but on a daily basis. Now Jeff, I just got done with a porterhouse taco dinner about an hour and a half ago. And I'm going to taste this motherfucking Vegemite that she sent me. Bless your heart, man. It was like, I don't know how much this stuff costs at your market, but it was 16 bucks to ship it, people. You know, so bless your heart, Jeff. You didn't have to do that, but here goes nothing. You guys actually dig this shit? It tastes like stale, salty molasses, and like like the bottom bin molasses that you scraped up after you have uh, spilled motor oil in it too. I don't see what the acquired taste is. Maybe if I had to eat this shit nonstop, I'd be like, <laughs> you know. Oh, boy, give me that picture, boy. Oh, yeah, bloody fucker. It's got a real heavy molasses, like a, a bad molasses taste, like a molasses that's just been stale, very salty. It's just worthless. I would have, I wouldn't fucking want to eat that crap. I love you, man, for saying it, but. Um, I mean, 
Does it make a good hair tonic? <laughs> Thanks, brother.